I asked you to send me your most epic blueprints and I received an absolutely astonishing number of replies. I received not 10, not 20, but over 70 rockets. Of course I can't do all of that in one video so it's going to be spread out across multiple parts. I hope you enjoy it. And some of these rockets are absolutely epic so keep watching. The first blueprint was sent by Antonio. Apparently it's supposed to look like this so I guess we're going to see. This is it. It already looks interesting. So let's launch. We can go to this rocket. Bruh. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Again. Oh, it's a rocket. Okay, so this is a better weapon than anything I've ever made. Let's first launch the first rocket. No, it has a second rocket inside of it. And now let's launch the second rocket. Not much launching happened, but the first rocket was epic. Next up we have by Aeroslate Technologies, a Concorde I made a long time ago. If you didn't know, a Concorde plane is a supersonic airliner. They were developed in like the 60s, but unfortunately the idea never really took off because they were really expensive, they were difficult to maintain, they made a lot of noise, and it's like a normal airplane is fast enough already. It starts vertically, so do we need to make it horizontal first? I hope it doesn't explode. No, it didn't explode. Good. And now we should be able to take off. No, the nose just completely fell off. Let's just keep it on. This is where we take off. Yes, we're flying again. Now let's reach supersonic speeds. We're not going slow, but we're not supersonic either. There's only one way to go supersonic. All right, 15 kilometers. And now it's time for the supersonic speeds. 300 meters per second. 400, 500, 600, 700. We're almost at supersonic speeds. No, no. Okay, the plane, despite being a Concorde, clearly couldn't handle supersonic speeds in Space Flight Simulator. But it was still a pretty cool plane. Next up, we have this rocket by Clock. This is what it looks like. And apparently, it has a lot of engines. Uh, is this supposed to happen? This is normally not what a rocket looks like. Everything is exploding. I just don't think this rocket is going to work. Next up, we have a rocket by Dymis. Wait, what are these reactions? Self upvote. Did he upvote? Thumbs up reacted by Dymis. He gave his own rocket a thumbs up. Ha, <laughs> it's exactly like this. Dymis, metal, Dymis. Download blueprints. Let's launch. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. It's, it's going fast. My game is lagging a bit because there's so many engines. 16,000 degrees. 20,000 degrees. The boat is flying. Is it going to land? Yes? It did a flip. I mean, it's a nice boat. And when the water update comes out, this is going to be absolutely epic. What happens if I... I should not have done that. No, <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. Let's move on to the next rocket. Next up, we have this rocket by King Joseph. Another self upvote. He upvoted his own rocket too. <laughs> this is so accurate. But let's test out the rocket. This is it. This looks like a rocket that can get to the moon. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It got off the ground at least. That's better than one of the previous rockets. This is high enough probably. We just need to leave the atmosphere at first. Now let's rotate and activate the... Oh no, not when we're pointing downwards. We don't want to fly back into the ground. And right at the peak, activate the engines. Oh, out of liquid fuel. So do we now go like this? Yes. And we're in orbit. Now let's navigate to the moon. We reach the transfer window. Speed up. Oh, the transfer window almost escaped. This is so annoying. Every time I speed up. The transfer window keeps getting further away. This is so annoying. So I need to turn around and then wait until I'm right here and then accelerate. And now we're going to do the exact same, but right here. Out of liquid fuel. Now we should be able to do this. Uh, it's not actually a moon lander. It's a satellite. What? No, no. I thought it was a moon lander. I thought there was like a tiny smaller rocket in there, but there was a satellite. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, I reverted it back in time and now we're going to do this the right way. We're not going to crash the satellite into the moon. Descend it into low moon orbit. Now we can... Okay, the satellite's in orbit around the moon. That's a lot better than what we previously did. I got myself a cuppa, cup of tea. I drink like five of these a day, to be honest. Where were we? An unknown wonder shared a rocket. There's a question mark. I don't know if that's a good sign. Maybe it's a really confusing rocket. Download blueprint. What is this? I honestly don't know what this is supposed to be. I mean, I can drive around, I guess. No! I can do a flip. I can roll. Okay, um, well, there, there was a second one. This one. And this one do a flip as well? No. But what is this? <laughs> what is this rocket? <laughs> Who builds this? Send your most epic blueprints here. <laughs> most epic blueprints. 
This is the most epic blueprint an unknown wonder has ever made, I guess. <laughs> Why do people send this? Next up, we have a rocket by Alvarez Bruh, an old jetliner I made. Download blueprint. It looks pretty good already. Is this how it's supposed to fly? <laughs> Let's activate the engines. <laughs> is this how it's supposed to fly? Is this how airplanes fly? <laughs> is when do airplanes fly like this? I think I'm supposed to just let it fall first. It didn't explode. Good. And now let's launch it. No. Wait, I survived. Okay, it's working. No. I need to be horizontal. Like this. No. This is really difficult to fly, but it is a nice design. Now let's land it. It can just land, of course, because wheels are indestructible. Well, it is a nice plane. Next up, we have a rocket by Laser Kiwi Gaming. My take on an M1A2 Abrams or something like that. This is what an M1A2 Abram looks like. Abrams are modern tanks that are still in use by the American military, so I'm expecting the blueprint to be a tank. It would be weird if his take on an M1A2 Abrams was an airplane, right? <laughs> that would be so stupid. Yeah, it's a tank. Can it drive? Yeah, it's working. Can it go off a hill without falling over? Yes. And now the real question, of course, can it shoot? Kind of. Oh wait, you're supposed to- I get it now. You're supposed to shoot them one by one. It got stuck right here. Boom. 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 I mean, it really is a really effective weapon, right? The tank totally got destroyed. If it didn't get stuck on this tiny ledger, it would have been the perfect tank. Next up, by Tsarbox, we have Boat. It really is a boat. It's absolutely gigantic. Let's launch it. Okay, that certainly is a thing that can happen. No collision damage, no gravity. This is a lot better. I don't think it has any functionality, but it is one of the best looking boats I have ever seen in SFS. Just this helicopter alone looks better than any helicopter I've ever built. Wait. It has engines. The helicopter has an engine. The entire boat is falling over. And now let's enable gravity and collision damage. No! This is also how I imagine the Titanic went. It just randomly flew up into the air and then crashed down into the ground. We've already reached the 10th rocket, made by... Someone is in me? What kind of name is that? It's sus. This can go to Mars and back, and let's do that. So let's launch it and go to Mars. Going to Mars is a bit like going to the moon, but you need to go even further. Out of fuel. Let's go to the next stage. Out of fuel again. Let's go to the next stage. He says we can go to Mars, but we haven't even escaped the gravitational fields yet. We've reached escape velocity, and now navigate to Mars. Apparently we're already at the transfer window. That's some really fortunate timing. Out of fuel. Next stage. Look, this is so epic. We're really far away. But we're just like slowly getting closer until right at this moment we've encountered Mars. Captured into high Mars orbit, descended to low Mars orbit, out of fuel. The next stage is to become this. I need to use this engine to prevent burning, I think. Yes, I did it. Now let's slowly descend into Mars. My engine broke down, which means I can't get out of Mars anymore. But we made it and that's all that matters. Next up we have a rocket by Mr. Blobby. I think this is like a space station. Firstly, let's go up. My tea is already cold, but I just got it like 10 minutes ago. Out of liquid fuel. But we should escape the atmosphere. Let's first decouple. And now let's turn. I hope this doesn't explode me. Wait, that can just fall off? It's not even attached to the rocket? Doesn't matter. I just need to get into orbit. I am terrible at getting into orbit. I think I'm going to make it. Yes, I am not in orbit. And I am out of fuel. Solar panels, protect me. Extend. It's not working. No. Why am I so terrible at getting into orbit? Even a rocket made specifically for getting into orbit, I can't even get into orbit. And that's how to get into orbit in Spaceflight Simulator. Okay, I think I can do it. Firstly, I need to just go up. But instead of going straight up, I need to tilt my rocket a bit. Decouple. Yes, reach low Earth orbit. I did it. Now we can decouple this and also this. Oh, wait. You, you can't really decouple it because it's... It, yeah, it's gone. My solar panels are also gone, apparently. But that doesn't matter. We have one solar panel left. That's more than enough, right? So this is it. The SFS space station. Or at least what survived the trip here. Next up, we have a rocket by Tony Stark. Spider-Man? Oh, so this doesn't just come with the rocket. But also the entire construction platform that was used to make it. So let's launch. Wait, it's, it's, it's still stuck to the platform. That's not supposed to happen, I think. So we first need to decouple this. 
a couple of this. And now we should be able to launch. It's working. This rocket's pretty awesome, to be honest. My entire game is lagging. Let's turn off the rockets. I can't. I can't even pass the game anymore. It's just completely lagging. I had to actually close Space Flight Simulator because it was just lagging so much I couldn't even end the flight. But it was a really nice rocket. My PC just isn't good enough to handle it, I guess. I mean, it makes sense you'd need a NASA PC to handle a NASA rocket, right? Next up, we have by Ayan. We have a rocket with N1 DLC included. What's that supposed to mean? Makes sense someone question marked it. Let's launch. This is a rocket that's definitely going to get us to space. We reached 10 kilometers. Okay, this one doesn't have fuel anymore. Next stage. Can we get into like orbit? Okay, and this is probably the last engine, I guess. Can we get into orbit? No. How the fuel? Wait, maybe there's more. There are more engines. Every time I think that's the last engine, there's another layer of engines beneath it. But this really is the last engine, right? Yes. What is this? He built this giant rocket to get this into space. But what is this? What's the point of the rocket? Next up, we have a rocket by Mr. Blobby. Needs no heat damage. The rocket doesn't need heat damage? I don't think there's any rocket that does need heat damage, to be honest. Oh, wait. He means the no heat damage cheat. Enable no heat damage. Oh, I can see why it needs no heat damage. It would have already exploded by now. Out of fuel. Let's move on to the next stage. Can we get into orbit? I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yes, reach low Earth orbit. Now let's move on to the next stage. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Uh, what is this rocket? What is this? Is this like a squid? A space squid? What is this supposed to be? Next up we have by Karmic Lonel. Everything works without the expansion pack. What is this supposed to be? Okay, so first we launch this whole thing into space using the bottom engines. Okay, out of fuel. Then we go to the next layer. This rocket looks so evil. It looks like something a super villain would make. We're almost in orbit. Yes, we did it. And we're also out of fuel right at the moment we entered orbit. Now let's go to the next stage. Wait, maybe this is like a space military base. And we can launch this military rocket from space. But can we land this rocket? That's the real question. Every time I start to burn, I need to simply accelerate. So that was a pretty cool rocket. Probably one of the best so far. Look at how many mission achievements I got. Then we have by my name communism, huh? X-71 Wyvern is what I call this thing. Goes Mach 5 below 30 kilometers. So it can go really fast. Now let's go Mach 5. I hope I don't burn to death. 2,000 meters per second. I've never seen a rocket that can go this fast and survive. Okay, it's it's spinning. Maybe it's not going to survive this. It's going to survive, right? Wait, it had a parachute? I could have just activated the parachute. But it survived. So this was also a pretty epic rocket. I've never seen a rocket this fast. Re-entered Earth's atmosphere. Max temperature, 5,460 Celsius. Next up, we have another one by Antonio. What is this? Let's launch it. Oh, I mean... This is a pretty cool rocket, to be honest. How is it flying so much? Where does it store all the fuel? It's so tiny. It's going too fast. No, out of fuel. These parts are so tiny. It has parts that are like two pixels big. Oh, Antonio is the same guy from this rocket launcher. So he is probably like the best weapon maker in SFS, right? But the other rockets were pretty cool as well. All right, boys, this is it for today. There are many more epic rockets like this space shuttle or this nine stage rocket that I would want to try out. But I've already been recording for like three hours and my voice is starting to hurt, to be honest. So I'll do all of these in the next video. See you later.